Structuring Grammar Practice When planning a grammar lesson, teachers should also consider how to order grammar practice activities. There is no absolute rule how to do that or easy complete solutions. However, there are some simple tips that can guide the planning process. There should be a logical link between the selected practice activities. This link can be thematic or contextual. Controlled practice activities usually come before freer practice. This is especially important when students encounter a grammar structure for the first time. As the class progresses, each type of activity should allow increased amounts of creativity, personal relevance, and experimentation with the language. A free practice activity is a must. Beginner level students will probably need more controlled and semi-controlled activities, but this does not mean that they should not be encouraged to engage in spontaneous, meaningful interaction. Controlled and semi-controlled activities should help students gain confidence and prepare them to successfully complete more complex production tasks. It is always good to have additional activities prepared and be ready to adjust the lesson plan. If a free practice activity seems too difficult for your students, then switch back to more controlled practice. If you see that a target structure doesn't pose a problem for students, then an additional free practice activity will come in handy. Finally, keep in mind that practice will help students but they will not get everything perfect straight away. Remember the organic garden? Grammar learning is not linear, it's cumulative. This means that one lesson, however well designed, is usually not sufficient to help students learn the target structure and start using it with ease in all contexts. Their performance will probably follow a U-shaped curve. It will improve, then become worse, then improve again. For this reason, challenging grammar structures should be regularly revisited and, if necessary, retaught. Conclusion Teachers should provide students with frequent practice in both understanding and producing the newly learned forms. Practice activities should target most probable learning difficulties. Practice activities should be meaningful and engaging. Students should use the target structure to engage in communication or express their own views. These are the references used for this text.